Hi, Maya. Hi. What are you doing there? I'm doing a watercolour. I'm painting this lovely Henry Moore sculpture and looking through it. Mm. I've done a lot of that sort of thing, um, those sort of watercolours where you're framed or you're looking through something, through a tunnel to the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. It seemed to be particularly resonant um, over the lockdown period. I mean, I don't know, I've got a few here. That one was one I did here. Uh, it's under the tunnels, uh, underneath the bridge there. Yeah. And uh, I love the colours, it pops up. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I love pops out at you. I love the light. You say it's all about the light for me, so the dark and the, the blue, the richness of the light. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I found, like, through this pandemic thing, I started off doing lots of watercolours, mm. and they were all the light at the end of the tunnel, that idea, and, and it resonated, lots of people were buying them. And I think it's a bit like the process we've been going through. So after that, I've been doing a lot of, of self-portraits. Mm. I did a whole project of self-portraits every day. So it's like the fear, you're looking forward, and then the self-analyzing. <laughs> Probably the transformation at the end, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about self-analysis, you, have you changed a lot over the years in your practice and you know, when you started to now? Oh, absolutely. When I was a child, I grew up, it was a misogynistic era. I was a young girl in a family full of boys. Mm. I never felt like my voice was being heard, because mm. it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah. and then I thought, you know, I thought, well, maybe if I used a different medium if I started painting then people could hear me more easily yeah. and that's how I started painting and and it went on I was really trying to find myself through painting and then it's trans, trans, it's moved again transformed again mm. and now it became about what unites us all rather than looking for me mm. I was like looking for what unites humanity yeah. <laughs> really and um is that nature well yes that well yes way? there's a lot of that in your work a lot of nature and yeah it's also about the stillness yeah stillness is in that like that one of your with your son actually in the water has also yeah. got that and you managed to get the ripple effects like yes you exactly. know, capturing the movement of the stillness I, quite a feat i love the water because there's so much going on in it so stillness is never still. Mm. Stillness, I would think, is rich and nurturing, mm. actually. So, um, yeah, you look at the water, you've got reflections above, you've got, like, you can see beyond it, you can see the trees, you can see the sky, yeah. that you can see the wind because of the ripples. So there's so much in any little bit of water. It's mm. so rich and full of life, but yet still you know, in, in a painting that's always still. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And do you, is, that, is that a reflection of um, what you like to look for in your work? Like, how do you feel when you're painting and when, how do you like other people to feel? When they... Well, exactly. It's, it's all about that moment of just letting go, let, mm. l losing yourself. Mm. So yeah. when I paint, when I'm really in it, I, I, don't know what, I don't know what time it is, which has yeah. caused a lot of problems. <laughs> <laughs> been there for hours and you know I don't know how long I've been there I just lose myself in it because mm. I'm so absorbed yeah and I think it's that thing of being absorbed mm. which nature does mm. so easily you mm. drop into it yeah yeah and that's what I'm trying to express amazing yeah. <laughs> oh, well I'll get you but let you get back to your work oh, thank but, you but what, what advice would you give to your younger self or to anyone oh, here? definitely yeah. Be a little more confident it was just you know when you're younger you have that inner voice that's telling you things that is absolutely spot on i realize now yes but you always think everyone outside you knows better so you compromise yourself yes to to fit in or whatever it is you think it will do but really if i only had the courage to really stay with what i felt oh. and i and mm. you know that would have been well, I, I, it's a process. I'm, I'm much happier now. I'm much more able to do that now. <laughs> that's, that's good advice. I'm going to feed off that advice too. Well, can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, well, I'll show you later. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> Bye, Maya. Bye.